Well hello, welcome to Drawing with Fire. I am Valerie, your neighborhood pyrography artist, and today we're discussing the eyeball yet again. I did get a little further in my burning. I haven't gotten the second eye done, but I at least wanted to show you basically two-thirds of the way through for the eyeball and glasses I already have done. So what we're going to do, especially if you've watched live so you already know this, if you're new, don't forget to hit subscribe and the like button, and if you haven't, there's a playlist up top that has making the pattern, starting the, the eye, they're all, the, both of them are live streams. So you'll have a slower um, pace as we go through it where I'm explaining everything. This is just kind of filling in the rest of the detail and hanging out. Now, what we did do in the live was remember to close your eyes, close your eyes with me, come on, close your eyes, deep breath. Blow out and say, I don't give a crap. The purpose of this is this self portrait that we're doing, and is to practice, get used to certain techniques, to watch our growth come next year so we can see how different we are, to look at ourselves differently, and see the shapes and not what our brain thinks we see or how we're supposed to look. So that's the purpose of this. So we're going to get right in to the eyeball. Alrighty then, now we're getting started on the glasses. Now I'm using the 19M ball tip. It's about the width of my glasses, so this makes it a little easier to fill it in. If, it, if at all possible, always try to use a pen that is close in size to the area you're going to be burning at the time this will help get you a smoother burn if you're using something tiny tiny you're gonna have to go over it a bunch of times and that's going to leave some um, maybe some marks that you don't quite like and if it's too big then you have to worry about having the um, cast out heat from the tip burning and yellowing which also takes away from your burning unless you're intentionally doing it now you see me with my um, zoomed in just my eyes reference photo and what I'm doing is I've got it right next to my wood and I'm looking at it really more than I'm looking at my burning because I really want to make sure to get everything in the right spot even and have the right tonal value. So I'm making sure that where there's the highest highlight in the glasses I'm leaving that blank and I will go around it to make it pop out a little bit more. I'm darkening areas. Now right now my heat is set right around 4 and because it's basswood it burns differently than birch so you really need to test your pen on a scrap piece of basswood if it's something you're not used to burning on. Um, just to make sure that the heat setting is where you want it to be before you touch down. It also kind of would pull some of the heat from the tip real quick. So just like when the blowing on your tip, you can pull the heat off a little bit, touch down, and that kind of helps a little bit with less of the dreaded blob. Though it will happen, You're keeping your pen moving, drawing the... The faster you move your pen, the lighter the burn is going to be even though you're at a higher heat setting. Now you see me using the General's white charcoal pencil. It's the one pencil that you can burn over and what I'm doing is trying to mark out really where the highest highlights are so that I don't burn that area. It's just a visual so I can see where things are at. Now further on in the video I do notice that I've kind of messed up on the shape of my eye and I will go back and I actually have that sped down a little less so that you can see me working on fixing it. Now the eraser you just saw is the Vanish 4-in-1 eraser. That's my favorite. That's the one I use the most and the one most of the time you'll see on camera. Now I've switched over to the large spoon shader and I found for the basswood that I actually like that just a tad better than my 18M for burning on basswood. I felt like I got a little bit of a smoother burn on this wood in, in particular. So I'll probably be using this pin more than the 18M. I know, shock, oh my goodness. But yeah, 
use the pen that works the best for what you're doing and since it's a large one I can get a larger area done and for the shading since I'm doing the lighter one lighter shading right now I'm right around two and a half and this basswood is really taking the heat well I was quite surprised so I'm just going to go in and without outlining or marking every piece of hair in the eyebrows again we talked about that in the live we don't want it to look wiry I'm putting the different shapes in because that's really what it's about looking at the different shapes and their tonal values so I'm trying to get that all kind of laid in and get the graphite removed I can go back and touch up you'll see me sand but graphite will show through a lighter burn so I try not to burn over it as much as possible in order because once you burn over it you kind you can kind of embed it into the wood and it makes the burn look a little dirtier I don't want that so I'm trying to be as light-handed as possible in order to get the graphite up later so here I'm noticing something doesn't feel right about my eye I'm looking at the photo it's hard when doing a live trying to talk to you guys and focus on what I'm doing and on details sometimes during the live I get off a little bit and I come back to it later and I'm like oh what did I do and so I have to go back and fix it so I pop back up to the eyebrow and that's more of a blend than it is seeing individual hairs so you kinda want it out of focus here is where I really noticed okay my eyelashes don't look right the top of my eye shape really doesn't look right I've kind of got my shadows off a little bit and I'm thinking huh as I'm doing this I'm touching areas I'm trying to fix the burn with my pen and it's just not quite working so I actually have to go back and here we go I've got my exacto knife and I'm pulling out the high highlights so I know where those are at and to see how that looks and then I've got to fix the eyelash area and here we go all I'm using is the tip of the knife and scraping kind of across the grain instead of with the grain in order to get a light scratch to get the burn off and reshape this eye because I was a bit off but if I put in the, the highlights brighter where they where they go I have I can better gauge where I'm off and go back and fix it so in here I'm trying to thin out the burning of the eyelashes lighten it up because I got a little too dark kind of reshape them a little bit and yep that's what we're gonna do here in a second you are going to see um, sandpaper and what it is is I have my 400 grit sandpaper and I kind of wrapped it around my sanding stick in order to just be able to grip it without creasing it and get into small areas I also yeah the main thing was the sanding stick the sandpaper and the knife and here's the sandpaper and you just light pressure because I don't want to gouge the wood if you gouge the wood if you when you go to burn over it's not going to burn right and you'll have kind of a little indent and that's not what I want so now I'm using the 9M writer to go back and kind of reshape my eye get that curve that I was missing and this is the 18S spear shader small and I'm using that because the edge of that pin makes really fine lines not as fine as the 12S skew but lines that I want for my eyelashes so I'm just going in and reshaping and blending out and fixing where I kind of messed up because mess ups happen and the best way to learn to burn and how to fix them is to mess up and then fix them <laughs> so that's what we're I've done all that I'm gonna continue to put in the shading darken areas straighten out lines I kind of started burning next to my glasses in my hair in the dark area so I can see the different shapes because in my photo you can see the lighter edge within the frame where my gla glass lens is I do need to make sure I keep that in one thing I still need to go back and do even you'll see it even at the end of the videos um, along the side of my face next to the edge in fact where I'm erasing right now um, I need to darken up that shadow even more 
But right now I'm just cleaning up and trying to straighten things out. Make sure it looks like it's supposed to. I do like that there is the shadow of my glasses going across my eye. It gives it more interest in the piece. And then I notice I have the corner of my eye wrong, so I have to go back in and fix that with sandpaper. That's the sanding stick by itself. It is a fine grit. I have all the supplies on my Amazon affiliate link and my kit page, which are all listed down below if you're looking for that. I love my Vanish 4-in-1 eraser. So, in general, my heat stay setting stayed between 2 and 4 and more actually more like two and three and a half for the lighter burns I'm moving quickly and my heat is down right around two two and a half but because I'm moving quickly it is lighter like we talked about earlier the faster you move the pen the, the lighter the burn the slower you move it the darker the burn now when you get up to settings like like five and higher you can still control your heat by moving quickly but it starts getting harder and you're more likely to get a blobs when you do that now when I do adjust my heat when I go to touch back down again I always try to touch down in a place that I have burned and it's kind of a darker burn that goes back to the whole heat heat sink part that we were talking about earlier where if I do if I touch down in some place darker it kind of pulls the heat it kind of takes the blob and I can move out from there and it makes it a smoother burn. So I'm just going to get the bridge of my glasses in. The highlights are really important because that's really what makes the eyeglasses pop and feel realistic. And since for this community project, project that's what we're going for is realism. I really need to have those highlights in there. Glasses, even black frame glasses, aren't going to be fully black. There's always going to be a, be a hint of shine. Now the small eraser you saw was my Tombow, Tombow eraser. It's one of the small ones. Again, it's linked down below. So in the end, this is where I've got with the first eye. I will do the exact same thing with the second eye. And hopefully everything will look the same. I will go back and touch things up. But right, So right now it's about two-thirds of the burn. I'll darken areas up later to balance when I've got more of the piece in instead of just finishing off completely at one time. Alrighty, there were four main pins I used in this video and I'll try to put a closer up video or photo so you can see them, I used the 18S small, the 9M writing, the large spoon shader, and the 19M ball tip. These are all Optima pins, and they are the burner that I always absolutely recommend. You can see some of my burners back there. I got quite a few. The Optima is the best. So, surprisingly enough, I've been liking the large spoon shader for the basswood. A little bit more than the 18M spear shader so that just goes to show that your wood the grain what you're doing all does make an impact on how your burning looks so hopefully this has helped you in your burning adventure and that you're joining us with the community project of self-portrait if you're not a part of my drawing with fire biography group that's where all the posts are in regards to this please definitely feel free to come join us. It's a private group. There is one question of how long you've been burning and that is done in order to keep the people that just draw out because some of them don't understand it's not a drawing group, it's a burning group. So if you could just answer that question. Even if you've burned new and you've never burned a day in your life and you want to learn, just answer that way. We'll let you in. I hope this has definitely helped. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down in there. Don't forget that up in the iCards right here at the top right, we do I do have the playlist for how we've gone with the self-portrait so far. Happy burning, guys. Bye.
Oh. <clears throat> so. 